So, this is what we're up to today. I am going to leave in about 20 minutes for a hockey game. Sharks hockey, baby. Tail, baby. Bleed tail. Yeah. So, this is a version of hockey makeup that I do. I go crazy. Um, if you can't tell, this one's all about really exaggerated kind of liner. And that's really fun. This is actually one of the simpler looks I do. Sometimes we have the chill all the way to the eyebrows. Just about. Just about. If it gets to the playoffs, I tell you, the more, <laughs> the more exciting the games the higher the teal goes. But this one I like. I like this because it's definitely a good pop of color. You're definitely game ready. Uh-huh. And <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. Also, um, the thick liner, the thing is, I have very hooded eyes. I'm looking up at the camera so it doesn't look so much, but if I look straight ahead, you lose most of my lid space. But when I have this much bright eyeliner on, you still at least see it a little bit. Because that's one of the frustrating things when you have more of the hooded lids is that um, you open your eyes and all that work is gone. Anyway, so I'm gonna launch right into how to do this, how to look crazy. You could do this in any color, really. I just am doing the teal. Because you gotta rock the teal if you're going to the tank. Shark tank, that's what we call our arena. You should know that. You should really be watching hockey because it's awesome. Just not Detroit. If I ever get a new hate comment, it's going to be now because Detroit fans, hello. Anyway, <laughs> actually uh, seeing the Rangers tonight, so that'll be fun. Anyway, if you want to see me do this and almost get to the end without poking myself in the eye, keep on watching. See you soon. All right, we're going to start off with a primer. I'm using Urban Decay's anti-aging primer, but you can use whatever type you prefer. Um, this look is not really necessary to have a colored primer because um, we're not putting a lot of color on the lid, or depending on eyeshadow, really, for the color. So we're next, we're going to go in with the Naked Basics 2 and the color Frisk and just very lightly put that in the crease as a transition shade. Um, very light. We don't have to do a lot. And then we're going to go in with Stark, and then I believe we're going to throw in a little bit of Skimp all over the lid. Just super neutral, just to kind of erase any redness and look at, make it look nice and smooth and ready to go. Um, you can put a little bit on the brow bone, too. Excuse the brows today. It was not a good brow day. They're kind of all over the place. All right, next we're going back in with a fluffy brush, and we're going to grab that kind of a, a turquoisey teal from the Wet n' Wild Blue Had Me at Pelo. Blue had me at hello. Blue, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, exciting. Anyway, that's going very, very lightly in the crease. I'm adding a tiny, tiny bit at a time. You're not really going to see this. And basically, it's just adding the tiniest blue base for the other color we're putting in the crease. So this is totally optional if you don't feel like putting it on. It's not going to have that big of an impact, but I thought it would just give a tiny little boost to the blue tones in the next shade, which hopefully you'll see when I add that in in just a moment. All right, now we're going to grab a dome-shaped brush, um, less fluffy than the one we were previously using. And we're going to grab a color from MAC called Club. And Club is a very kind of interesting color because it's a reddish-brown, but it has a sort of green, bluey, teal duochrome in it. So when you put it um, next to, or in this case, slightly on top of a blue color, the um, duochrome really comes out more. So that's why I'm using this one is just sort of a crease shade to give a little bit of definition because mostly it just deepens the crease a little bit, but you also get a tiny bit of that uh, sort of sparkly duochrome because it's so close to the bright liner, which I think it's fun. And it's not necessary. You could just put a medium brown in there or even a dark brown. No problem. But, you know, the little extras sometimes are what makes things special. I'm just grabbing some more of Skimp and sort of blending out above by the brow bone and grabbing a little bit more as well and just cleaning up the lid, making sure we didn't lose the nice smoothness of that color. On to the fun part. We're going to grab some tape because we're doing the big crazy liner. You just want to grab a piece of tape, stick it on your arm or the back of your hand, take it on and off a few times so it's not so sticky that it really pulls at your skin. 
and then we're going to line it up from the outer edge of the tail of your eyebrow and match it down to your eye about where the lower lash line meets the upper lash line. Then we're going to grab a really nice deal from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 liner in Mainline. It's a nice, deep, ever so slightly shiny teal. I love this color. And we're just going to get this on. We're going to start by getting it along the lash line and just a little bit above the tape, approximately as high as we want to go. But mostly we're just getting it right along the lash line, getting thinner as we go in. My inner corner of my eye is like super bumpy and it's hard to get it smooth over there as you can kind of see, but just do your best. And so once you have that, you can start adding to the thickness. I actually ended up going slightly higher up on the um, eyelid and out from the tape but you basically just keep doing it until you have the thickness you want. Check one against the other and just see how it's coming along. And you basically just keep doing that until you have the size, shape, and thickness that you want. Once you're happy with the way your liner looks, we're going to set and intensify it a bit by grabbing another teal eyeshadow. Um, this is Hate from Urban Decay, as in Hate Ashbury, not as in I Hate You. Come on, we should know better. We don't hate anybody on here. We love. All about the love. Anyway, so you just uh, smooth it on top of the liner. You can smudge the upper edge out a little bit if you want, but I'm keeping it fairly crisp and clean. Um, the eyeshadow aside just from setting it also has a little bit more sparkle than the liner, so I just think it looks a little more fun and pretty, though you could certainly just leave the liner as a flatter color if that's the effect you want, but you know, we're going all out today, so we're going to make it nice and sparkly. So again, you just keep adding on and checking against the other side until you're happy. Have a little eyeshadow happy dance, and now we're going to go in and remove the tape so we can kind of clean up that edge and see how it turned out. So here we go. One, two, reveal. Oh, nope, wrong. Still going. Hey, this is the part where I couldn't get the tape off, so I made really funny faces at you. There we go. Woohoo! Check it out. Look at both sides. Give yourself a couple little winkies. Enjoy. Now we're going in and grabbing a Q-tip, which I kind of just um, run over a makeup wipe so you get a little bit of remover on, and then just start cleaning up that tip um, as much as you want. Get it nice and sharp. A little on the other side too. Got a little smudgy on the top. Go back. Compare. Yeah, futz with it as much as you want until you are happy. We're going to grab mainline again and then do the lower lash. Um, try to connect it right where that upper liner starts and then run it along uh, most of the lower lash line. We're kind of going to be repeating what we did on the upper lash line as far as running the liner on and then um, putting a little bit more of uh, hate underneath. So that will look nice, assuming I can find my smudge brush. Oh, hey, I did. Fantastic. Because you kind of want it a little bit more diffused on the bottom lash than you do at the top. And also you can kind of, um, you get a little bit less as you go along the lower line. And I actually leave the um, inner corner mostly blank at this point. And apparently I needed to go fix the other side and made a mess. And you go clean it up. But like I said, nobody's perfect. And that is why we have Q-tips and makeup remover because you can always go back in. So anyway, smudge, do both sides until once again you are happy. All right, now I'm going to attempt the thing that I'm awful at and that is lining the waterline. So you can see how intensely I'm staring at that pencil. This is the Hourglass um, Gel Liner Pencil in Obsidian. It's kind of a new-ish product. There's the first poke in the eye. All right, let's go. Roll our eyes around because, boy, does that sting. Cannot do anything without poking myself in the eye. There, I kind of poked it a little bit again, so let's adjust the camera. Hey, there's my hand. So anyway, we're running this on the lower lash line as best we can. That's another poke in the eye. I'm telling you guys, that is my special talent, is poking myself in the eye. It's just, it's always going to happen. There we go again. I'm trying to, like, just get myself from tearing up too much. 
yeah, it's special. And you grab that smudger again and kind of, you know, because some of the black goes down on the lower lash again. And you want to kind of smudge that in with the teal a little bit. Of course, I have to finish, finish, fix the other side. And then check, see how it looks. Hopefully it hasn't smeared everywhere, which is what tends to happen with me. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm doing the lower lash. All right. All right, now I'm grabbing the Naked Basics again and kind of a smaller, more precise brush going back in with Skimp and, hey, you can't see my eyeball at all. That's fantastic. Anyway, I'm going in kind of the inner corner, inner third of the um, bottom lash there. Just add a little bit of a highlight and kind of blend out the um, teal. And now I decided that I'm crazy and I'm going to try and tight line my upper water line, which I never do. And there we go. This is like, what, the fifth poke in the eye? Oh, I think it's the third. See, I'm wrong. I think because I've counted like five doing this. But yeah, see how happy I am poking myself in the eye? Anyway, I'm just trying to get a little bit of extra darkness there so you don't get a gap when you put on mascara. So that helps make your eyes look a little, or at least your lashes look a little thicker and fuller. And now back to cleaning up. Actually, I was just trying to get the actual tears from smudging. Holy cow, you guys, seriously. <laughs> anyway, so this actually here is one of the liquid liners from Urban Decay, the 24-7 liquid liners. And this is in Siren, which is sort of an intense bright blue with a little bit of like tealy green sparkle in it. And this is another step that is totally optional. I'm just using it to darken the um, upper lash line a little bit and just add a little bit more sparkle and you cannot see what I'm doing. Oh well. Anyway, it's just kind of to darken it up a little bit and add a little bit more fun because I didn't want to put black eyeliner on my upper lid. All right, time for mascara. I'm using Benefit They're Real and I'm going to hold it upside down for you guys because I just did. In typical fashion, I am going to get it all over my upper and lower lid because, well, lower lash line. Do you have a lower lid? I don't know. Somebody tell me. Anyway, um, I'm just trying to thicken up the lashes and I have it looking nice. And then I go, hey, let's make a mess. So there's my usual mess. Um, if you let mascara dry on your skin, you can just take a Q-tip and roll it off later without disturbing all your makeup. If you try to take it off while it's wet, look at that. Special, special me <laughs> is what it is. Like I said, I'll let it dry and I'll duck under camera so you can't see anything. So this is about how it goes before I clean up all the mascara and I will now be right back to talk to you for real. Okay, we're all set. We are colorful and crazy and ready to yell and cheer and boo and just generally be as obnoxious as, you know, physically possible or vocally possible, really. So, this is what we got going on. I'm ready to go have fun. I hope you have a fantastic day, evening, night, sleep, I don't know. I hope you have a fantastic time, and I will see you very soon. Bye. I don't know what this is. I'm having a toilet that I... <laughs> I'm having a table swift moment. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know. You know how you do the chomp? No, look. Power play, you gotta do the chomp. Dun, 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 dun. There's a fly, I'll chomp it. Chomp.